Hey everyone, Itay Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a walking animation of a pixel art character in Procreate. So let's jump right into it. In order to achieve this, I'm going to be using the pixel art experience brush set for Procreate. You can find it along with a free mini version for you to try out on my Gumroad page through the link on the top right corner of this video or in the description below. This is not going to be a full tutorial on how to do pixel art in Procreate. I already have an in-depth video about it on my channel, so make sure to watch that if you need to. The first thing I'm going to do is to create my canvas. I decided that I want my character to be around 16 pixels tall and wide, so I'm going to create a 24 by 24 pixels canvas to have a bit of extra room to work with. The second thing I need to do is to set up a 1 pixel sized grid using the built in drawing guide in Procreate. This will allow me to see where each individual pixel is going to be placed on the canvas before I draw, which is going to be very helpful. For this entire tutorial, I'm only going to be working with the 1 pixel size brush from the Pixel Art Experience brush set. I'm filling the canvas with a neutral color to get rid of the pure white, and then I'm drawing a 16 by 16 pixel square made by pixel dots. This is the area I want to make sure to not surpass when creating my character. Now I'm starting to explore what the shapes and colors for my character are going to be. At this stage I'm using any colors, as long as they allow me to distinguish the different parts of my character. You will see how I'm changing the colors and shapes many times, because I'm just allowing myself to explore. I decide that I want my character to be wearing some sort of cloak with a hood. Once I have the general shape, I use pure black to outline my character so that it stands out more. Here you can see how I'm searching for the final colors for my character. And then I add a bit more depth by adding shadows and highlights. With the front view of my character finished, I activate Animation Assist in the Actions menu. This will allow me to add different frames to my character to create a simple walking animation. One important thing to know is that each layer we create in Procreate corresponds to one frame in the timeline. But if you create a group with more than one layer in the Layers menu, it will count as a single frame. Using this method, I create a group with my color base and the dotted square, and by clicking on the first frame in the timeline, I establish it as a background. This will make the background permanently visible in all the frames for my animation. Now I duplicate the layer with my character to create the second frame for my walking animation, and I'm going to modify it to make the character take one step forward. For this I'm lowering the right leg, and also placing the left leg behind. I'm also using the selection tool to move different parts of the character. For example, I'm lowering the whole head by one pixel to make it look like it is bouncing due to the movement of walking. By the way, I didn't mention it, but I recommend disabling the onion skin feature in the animation assist settings, because for pixel art it can be pretty annoying. With this frame finished, I can duplicate it and flip the legs horizontally to make the character take a step forward with the left leg. And I'm also lowering the head by one pixel in this frame. Notice how in between the two frames where the character is taking the steps, I've also duplicated the first frame with the character standing still, and that is what will create the illusion that the character is walking. Now I'm modifying the cape, so that it also looks like it is moving a bit when the character is walking. With the front view animation finished, I'm going to expand my canvas so that I have room to work on the back and the side views. I duplicate the background and the dotted square to fit three more views of my character and then I crop the canvas to the size I need. Then on the same first frame where my front view animation is, I'm using the front view as a reference to draw the character in the side view. 
because I already have established the final colors and shapes. I don't need to explore anything anymore, and I'm just making sure that the side view corresponds to what I have in the front view. Now I copy this side view, and I paste it into all four frames. The idea is to modify the frames as needed, to make the walking animation from the side, following the same process as for the front view. The cool thing is that I can just duplicate the whole side animation and flip it horizontally to create the other side. Finally, I'll copy the front view to create the back view animation. All I need to do is to modify the four frames so that it looks like we are looking at the character from behind. And for that, I'm painting on top of the face and the chest areas to make the full cloak from the back. With the four views full animated, I decide to change the color of the background to something that makes my character pop more. The final step is to duplicate the canvas with my animation to make sure we have a backup copy. And using the duplicate, we are going to enlarge our animation to something that will allow us to share our pixel art on social media. It's important to do this, otherwise the final export will look blurry outside of Procreate. To achieve this, I'm resizing my canvas to something like 3000 pixels wide, making sure first that the link symbol between the two numbers is activated. This will allow us to resize the canvas proportionally to what we had. Also make sure resample canvas is turned off. Then you want to select all your layers by swiping to the right on each layer. And using the transform tool with the nearest neighbor interpolation selected, we are going to make our layer fit to the canvas. It will look blurry at first, but it will turn crisp again as soon as you confirm the transformation. Then you can export this animation by selecting share layers in the actions menu. I personally chose animated GIF for this occasion. There are multiple options you can play with, like the frames per second to modify the speed of your animation, and so on. And this is the final result. I really hope you liked this video. If you use my brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag ManeroBrushes so that I can see what you create. I will be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find the Pixel Art Experience brush set for Procreate, and many other sets that I have available. I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching, see you next time.